Jolly Old Soul, our favorite man, Mao Zedong, quite mm-hmm. possibly one of the worst pieces of shit that ever existed <laughs> in history. Of Let's not beat around the bush, yes. Yeah. Quite, not quite possibly. Yeah. Is, is responsible for more deaths than Hitler and Stalin combined. Yes. Anyway. So, great man. Still on the Chinese money. You got any Chinese money laying around? I didn't bring any with me uh, today. No worries. Sorry. Still on the money. Funny Still, quote by Mao. Yes. He said his hands will never touch money because he was a devout communist. Now mm-hmm. he's on the money. <laughs> I know. Isn't that quite funny? <laughs> Didn't he used to yeah. be? Anyway, yeah. long story short, he obviously had a ton of kids, right? Yeah. Whose parents, like his, his kids turned into parents and they had kids too. Mm-hmm. And the most famous of his grandsons is called Mao Xinyu. Yeah, let's bring him up. There he is. Handsome for a man. What a handsome bloke. It's actually a very flattering picture, no joke. It's probably the best. Now, can you explain yeah. his position and how why it's so ridiculous? It's like a grand general of the PLA. And, <laughs> what is the PLA? The People's Liberation Army. Correct. Now, um, I think that this guy can be seen as a bit of a warning to what China might look like if the little emperor syndrome gets out of hand because this guy has been treated like royalty his entire life just because of his family connection to Mao Zedong. Right. The guy is one of the most ridiculous people you'll ever see because he's just been spoiled his entire life right. and treated, like I said, like royalty and pampered so much that, well, let's just just look at the guy on national TV. What does he end up doing? Let's take a close look. Mm. He's such a wonderful man, this. <laughs> he's reciting poetry right yeah. now, by the way. Yeah. Celebratory <laughs> nose pick. Now I like how they cut. You explain what yeah, they yeah, try to cut that. Yeah. Um, you can see that the cameraman very quickly noticed that this was happening. Okay, and he's this, like, it wasn't live. He's, though. he's like, oh my word! No, I think it must have been. Yeah, Otherwise, so. they would have cut it out. Yeah, of the they, air, but there's yeah. no way they would have left that in. And that's why he's like, I better quickly change the camera angle, and he changed it. But he know. kept picking. Yeah, yeah. There he goes. <laughs> Anyway. Now, the, the funny thing is, is he's he's widely considered to be almost illiterate. Yeah. Yet he's a master. People have to understand, what's higher than a CCP position is a PLA general position. Yeah. They get all the money and corruption. Yeah. It's a scary position to be in. Can you imagine this man? Mm. It's kind of like a discount Kim Jong-un. Kim yeah. Jong-un's like an intellectual. In sure, comparison. sure. The thing is, he's praised because he, of his connection to Mao Zedong. Sure. And Mao Zedong was well known for... Well, except for killing so many people and and all that, he's very well known for his calligraphy, Mm -hmm. which is kind of ironic since he almost tried to erase Chinese characters from China. He did. He did halfway. Yeah, he got he he introduced simplified uh, Chinese, but it was actually the Soviet Union that convinced him to keep the Chinese characters because he wanted to get rid of Chinese altogether and just have the normal Roman characters. You know, that we use in English and so on. Anyway, the fact of the matter is he's incredibly well known for his poetry and his handwriting, his calligraphy. It's actually a font yeah. in China. And if you go to, especially if you go anywhere near his hometown and stuff, you'll see all the signs use his his calligraphy mm-hmm. and stuff. All right. So now because this guy's related to Mao Zedong, everybody praises his calligraphy too. And here is a, a, a TV show, the documentary that they made about this guy's calligraphy. They did a few of these. Yeah. But and they you... actually, they, they did it. It was really serious. They were like, yeah. Mao Xinyi is yeah. very famous for his calligraphy. He takes after, clearly takes after Mao Zedong, the leader of our, the founder of our country. If you yes. look at the picture. Yeah. He, he <laughs> is, his Chinese, written Chinese is worse than mine. Mine okay? too. Which is and I'm rid- bad. Which is ridiculous. Okay. Um, well, we actually have a picture of... <laughs> 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 Sorry, but need you doubt a tide dweller. That doesn't even make no, sense. What you know too you much. Know too much, and they signed his name. Yeah, was, yeah. The thing is, like, that's an example. And so he would, because of his his grandfather's reputation, yeah, for his calligraphy, yeah. he'd go to like schools and stuff, and they would ask for autographs and can you write like a, a bit of poetry for us? Yeah. You know, we want to see your beautiful calligraphy. Yeah. And the news just couldn't even hide it. They they reported that it was perfect and flawless and yeah. all this stuff. But people online were like, "What are you doing?" These I know the thing is that they have word. they have to, they absolutely have to praise him. Mm. And you see, this is uh, one of the big flaws of the the Chinese communist system being shown up here. Mm. The the Communist Party is that face saving is so important that you would allow people to praise this kind of handwriting yeah. and to say that this is a great man, where right. the guy literally looks like the most spoiled disgusting man ever <laughs> yeah you know yeah. I, he should get people way. to take care of his hygiene 
Yeah, absolutely. I, I honestly feel like he probably has learning disabilities. So it, anyway, the fact of the matter is, um, yeah, they speculated. Don't spoil it. Yeah, they speculated that he was dead because he right. hadn't been in the, yeah. you know, in the public eye for a while. But guess what? He just made a reappearance. He wait till you see his outfit. It's it's really yeah. It's one of the best things ever. <laughs> <laughs> who allowed it i have that's no the thing is he's got idea. his pla honey yeah he's got all these like people bodyguards around him. yeah and that's what freeze it there oh, oh yeah man. sorry I'll, I'll, I'll take it back and that's what he chose to wear yeah it literally looks like his ass cheeks are on the front of his body <laughs> yeah i mean look i don't like to make fun no. of people's appearance but in this case i do i just this think guy so... looks ridiculous <laughs> Okay, that's he a looks, cartoon. He looks like a little boy, you know, like like a very <laughs> young little, little boy. Little Fauntleroy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He has a uh, little cane. Yeah. Anyway, um, obviously he needs that to walk. He's not in great sure, shape. Sure. No, I'm not. I don't want to make fun of people with disabilities. Yeah. But actually, because I actually yeah. think he probably does have a learning disability. Uh, absolutely. But the fact that he's put on a pedestal and give, that's the scary thing. The reason I'm mm-hmm. laughing about it, he's mm-hmm. given one of the highest positions in China. Yeah. You know, that's absolutely. terrifying. I know it is ter- terrible. Canary boy, of course. Canary boy. <laughs> oh, the fair rabbit child, piano boy. <laughs> Crocodile. <laughs> Crocodile. <laughs> okay. New Bailun era. New Bunrin. YG. New Bailun. New Bailun loop. New Bailun loop. You buy one pair, you get three pairs for free. So <laughs> it can't be very good. <laughs> you mean egglo devicey? Egglo's. <laughs> It glows. This is the blessing from gods. <laughs> this is the blessing from gods. You cannot yeah. get alcohol at Taco Bell. People are getting blown away by Taco Bell being on a plate. Changing a <laughs> bunch of keys in this thing and go shik <laughs> You know what I mean?